Today I have the honor and the pleasure to talk to Clive Swan. And Clive, you are the Senior Vice President for Application Development for Oracle Adaptive Intelligent Apps. And you wrote an article about how to turn the AI myth into the enterprise gold. And based upon your experience, so what are the three key things that companies really can do today to harness this power of AI in the enterprise? Well, thank you, Ron. First of, all, the first of the three things, I think, is that they don't need to decide on either a build or buy approach. They should adopt both. Buy off the shelf solutions for those commodity problems that you want to solve. And then use your, your valuable data science resource internally to build the bespoke solutions where you can derive unique competitive advantage. Secondly, I, I think companies need to be realistic. Rather than jumping straight for the moonshot and in, 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 doing, in doing so, skip those less glamorous or less sexy basic steps that are a prerequisite for delivering the moonshot, you need to focus on those basic steps first. And I'll give you an illustration from Oracle. We've delivered an intelligent payment solution where we highlight to users which suppliers will give them the best saving if you pay them early. But that solution is dependent on invoices being processed in good time and having a large enough pool of invoices from which to select those candidate suppliers. So we spend a lot of time doing perhaps less sexy solutions where we're applying AI to match invoices to POs, where the standard rules-based solutions can't currently handle that case, mm -hmm. and currently human beings have to do so. And then thirdly, I would say that you need to bring your employees and your company along with you. You need to set expectations that you aren't going to deliver that moonshot on day one. And even when you do deliver solutions into the enterprise, they're going to take a little time to learn from the interactions with the users to become smarter and smarter. All right. And, and for AI application, companies need this data. Data is that gold. So what guidance would you give the companies about getting their data to be ready for enterprise AI? So, I mean, I hear a lot of people talk about the fact that I'll throw a huge amount of data into my data lake and then I'm going to be golden when it comes to my AI solutions. Of course, that isn't the case. Quantity doesn't matter as much as the quality of that data. So in our view, you need to supply what we're describing as smart data to your AI solution. Smart data needs to be uh, very high quality. It needs to be very current and up to date. And it also needs to be very comprehensive. And in Oracle's case, we make data comprehensive by taking the data out of our enterprise applications, that's what we call first party data, and enriching that with third party data, in our case, uh, for B2B data cases with data flow. DataFox contains a lot of enrichment data about companies, about the size of companies, the businesses they're in, the countries they operate in, but also critically it includes what we call dynamic signals. Mm -hmm. Attributes about companies such as this company has announced plans for international expansion, or this company is just filed for bankruptcy. And those pieces of data are very, very important because when we're trying to predict with AI models how companies are going to respond to requests for discounts and the like, they're the kind of pieces of information that are much more likely to be help us predict the behavior than some of the more basic data we might see in the enterprise applications themselves. Okay, and, and if you look at enterprise AI, what do you think companies underappreciate right now? And what does it take to be successful? Right, so I think, you know, we, we have to step back and understand how AI has evolved. Typically, it's been what I would describe as a cottage industry today. That is, there have been lots of one-off solutions built in-house and you know, tailored very specifically to a given customer's environment by a dedicated team of data scientists. Now that works okay when you say got one big solution that you're deploying. But when you start deploying hundreds of solutions in your own environment, then that, that cost of maintenance, both initially tuning those solutions to your use case, but then ongoing tuning them and tailoring them and maintaining them as, as time progresses, requires you to go to an industrialized approach. We, we describe that cottage industry problem, that ongoing manual maintenance as being paying the AI tax. You either pay it by having more data scientists maintaining your solutions over time, or you pay it by your solutions getting worse over time as you don't maintain them. So one of the things I think many companies underestimate is the cost and the challenge of industrializing solutions. And for us as vendors, that problem is even multiplied. Rather than worrying about delivering one solution to one customer, in the cloud, we're delivering one solution to tens of thousands of customers. And of course, when we're delivering hundreds of solutions, we're delivering hundreds of solutions to tens of thousands of customers. So we have to take that industrialization problem really seriously and solve it for our customers to avoid them paying that AI tax. Clive, all clear. 
Thanks a lot for sharing your valuable experience and thank you for watching.